guys, welcome back. So we're headed in for another night in the woods here. So I just left town and I got about an hour drive ahead of me to get to the spot where we're headed. So we're gonna hike into the woods. I just got a backpack full of gear here, trying to go uh, as lightweight as possible. Yeah, we're gonna find a, a nice little spot to set up camp for tonight. We got the two dogs in the back seat here, uh, Goose and Millie. So the weather is uh, it's gonna be pretty messy today and tonight by the sounds of the forecast. So it's been um, snowing and raining kind of back and forth for like the last two and a half days or so now. And it's supposed to continue all day today. And uh, tonight it's calling for periods of rain. So when the forecast says that, it usually means some pretty significant rainfall is coming. So it could be a wet, uh, a wet cold night, but uh, should be interesting nonetheless. So I got some good food to cook up on the fire as usual, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting out there and uh, trying to uh, stay warm and dry and uh, weather this little storm that we're having. So stay tuned. All right, so we're on the trail. Had to park the truck about a kilometer or so back the road. That's uh, the closest parking spot I could find where I could actually get my truck off the road for the night. There's snowshoeing in this uh, old woods road now. And just up ahead here, another uh, few hundred feet or so, there's a little brook that runs underneath the woods road. So I'm gonna follow that brook out to a pond and uh, we're gonna camp somewhere out on the shore of that pond. Come on, let's go. This way. Whew. Spring is coming. Everything's starting to thaw out. Try to find my way around this little brook now without uh, going up to my knees in water. I got rubber boots on. I didn't wear my hiking boots this time because I knew it was going to be real wet underneath the snow. And I also got a busted snowshoe. Really, this way. Well, this is pretty deep. I really don't want to go over my rubbers. But I think if I could find a way across this one little spot here, I'll be past the worst of the brook. I'll be able to kind of get up in the woods a little bit over there. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I apologize in advance if some of the footage is not as clear as normal on this trip. I'm gonna do my best to um, keep the camera lens clear and dry, but it's gonna be a constant battle. So I get under this tree. Uh. Okay, here's the pond way up there. Snowing pretty good again now. We're on to a bit of a game trail here now. I think it's, uh, it's probably a little trail the moose are using to uh, to avoid this bog out here. So I'm gonna follow this for as long as I can. Hopefully it'll take us right out on the pond. All right, I can see the pond. We're getting close, but it looks like we're gonna have to get through some, uh, some more wet stuff to get out there. There it goes.
almost there so this is where I'm gonna have to be real careful you can see the brook is open I'm glad I found this little trail here so it looks like I'm gonna be able to bypass the mouth of the brook altogether and this trail is gonna take me out just up above the brook here so I was thinking this was a game trail but uh, I saw a couple of cut logs so it looks like somebody cut this trail with a chainsaw so that's good to know because uh, I didn't know this trail was here and I spend quite a bit of time in this area so I'll be able to use this trail in the future for sure here we are A lot of slob on the ponds now so I'm gonna head up to the bottom of this cove here it's supposed to be strong northeast winds tonight so I think this little cove right here will be my best bet to be sheltered from the northeast wind Well, she's gonna be a wet one, boys. So I'm just trying to get set up here now. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is throw up this small tarp I brought. So it's a little backpacker's tarp. Uh, I actually won this in a, a giveaway contest from another YouTube channel. So I'll put a link down in the description to uh, Andrew Young's channel, Father and Son Outdoors. He did a giveaway last year and uh, ended up winning this tarp. So I've been meaning to use it in one of my videos, but keep forgetting to uh, take it out so you know it'll be uh, a good time to try it out guys so I got that little uh, backpackers tarp set up here so now at least I can stay dry and uh, keep my gear dry I was just getting hammered with rain there for uh, a few minutes it's kind of slacked off again a little bit now but uh, it's good to have the tarp up so I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I'm gonna set everything up now where I'm gonna set the tent up and where I'm gonna get my fire going I think the number one priority is gonna be to uh, gather up some firewood and get the fire going so I can kind of warm myself up a little bit uh, from time to time as I'm doing everything else that I got to do here so yeah I'm gonna get the fire going and then we'll worry about the tent later I'm not in any rush to set the tent up because the longer the tent is up uh, especially if the rain picks up the more chance uh, that the tent is gonna get wet inside I haven't had this particular tent that I brought with me today out in any like real heavy rain and it is supposed to uh, rain quite a bit throughout the course of the evening here it's not bad right now but it's supposed to pick up so i'm gonna hang off on setting up the tent and uh, focus on a fire
Alright guys, so the rain has slacked off pretty good right now, so I got a little window here. I think it would be a good time to uh, get the fire going before the rain picks back up again. So I just split up a bunch of, uh, a bunch of spruce, dry spruce, into a uh, small kindling. And I came prepared uh, for wet conditions today, so I didn't really want to mess around too much trying to get the fire going. So I brought a little, uh, a little fire starting kit here. So I've got Millie. This is not for you. Millie thinks I got some kind of treat here for her. Here, move back up. Yeah, so I got uh, a little fire kit here. Uh, this is actually just filled up now with. Uh, I used to have a bunch more stuff in it, but uh, it's just filled up now with cotton balls that were soaked in uh, petroleum jelly. So I'll use a couple of these, and then. These pieces here are all fatwood. So I got a bunch of pieces of fatwood here in this bag. I'm going to use a few pieces now and then I'll save some for tomorrow. And I just got an extra Bic lighter in here to make sure it stay dry. Got a little bit of uh, old man's beard and a tiny little bit of birch bark here that I found too. So I'll as well use that along with the other stuff that I got here. I'm going to start the fire just outside of my tarp and uh, with the way the wind is blowing now it should blow the smoke away from the tarp and out towards the pond. Alright, let's try that. A couple of cotton balls and uh, a couple pieces of this fat wood here. I'm just going to throw them on in uh, big pieces like this for now. Some spruce twigs here too, but everything's soaked, so it's gonna take a while for this to dry up and catch. But once that fat wood catches, uh, that should burn for a while. Uh, it's gonna be nice to get this fire going. We got a bit of a chill here now. My pants are soaked. All right, she's starting to take off now, so she'll be good. So as I said, uh, I got the fire right at the outside edge of the tarp, just below that. And all the wind is blowing right out that way, so the tarp should be safe enough there. And uh, hopefully that'll protect it from the rain. Now uh, once it really gets going, the rain is not going to put it out anyways. So the plan is to get a big old fire going here. So I'm going to start slowly putting on bigger and bigger pieces as it starts to burn hotter. And uh, there's a big spruce stand just up behind my camp here. so. I shouldn't have any trouble getting firewood, so most of the day now, the rest of the day is just going to be uh, going for firewood and hanging out under the tarp and just uh, keeping myself warm and as dry as possible. Cook some food here later on. I got some moose burgers to put on my uh, folding grill, so that should be good. So yeah, this is uh, this is what we're going to be doing for uh, the next few hours until it gets dark and uh, and we'll be settling in the tent for the evening. Now that I got the fire going, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tent set up. So I brought my one tigress uh, backwoods bungalow tent on this trip. Uh, some of you guys may have seen it on my channel before, but uh, every time I bring this tent, I kind of regret it when I get out because uh, there's a little bit of messing around to set it up. It doesn't have any poles with it, so uh, you have to use like a ridge line similar to what I did with the tarp there, and uh, it kind of hangs off a ridge line, so. A little bit of fooling around to uh, setting it up, but 
that's what we got so I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up now while uh, before the rain picks up again so I haven't really had this tent out in any heavy rain yet so if we do get the rain that, it's, uh, that the forecast is calling for tonight it'll be a good test to see uh, see if this thing can keep us dry Coming down pretty good again now, boys. Oh. Oh. Watch it, you see. Go get your stick. Where's your stick? Go get your stick. All right, guys. It's getting dirty out again. Starting to snow. Sloppy snow. And uh, the wind is picking up big time. We got the tent up. Took me about 15, 20 minutes. It's a little bit of messing around to tweak all the uh, the guy wires and stuff to get it up the way I want it. But uh, yeah, I think this is actually going to work out pretty good. So this tent has a big awning out front and uh, it zips down. So this awning up here, later when I go to bed, I'll just untie it from the top up here. And then it zips down and it covers in this whole front of the tent. So I'll show you guys the setup here. Ugh. Fire's burning nice and hot now. So yeah, it worked out pretty good with uh, where the tent ended up. So the awning of the tent is just underneath the uh, the tarp, and then the tarp comes out almost right over the fire. So it should be a pretty good setup. I gotta get that uh, water off the tarp before that causes problems. Oh, sorry, Goose. Oh, sorry, bud. I got Goose right on the head with the water. Sorry there, bud. I didn't see ya. So, Millie here is, uh, she's starting to get pretty tired, I think. She's kind of been going around uh, looking for somewhere to lay down for the last little while. I think she's kind of wondering what the hell we're doing out in this weather, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna unpack some of my uh, sleeping gear. That way she can lay down and uh, have a little bit of comfort. And I gotta head out on the uh, on the pond, fill up my kettle, and then uh, go get some more firewood. So, still lots of stuff to do, but uh, may as well stay up and uh, keep moving, keep busy, to keep myself warm. Well, no need to chop a hole in the ice. I can just uh, scrape off this top layer of snow and there's enough slob on top of the pond that I can just fill up my kettle with the water that's sitting on top of the ice. Well, there's no chance of Goose coming in the tent for a nap. Over there waiting for a stick. Come on Goose, bring it over. Get your stick. Come here, bring it over and drop it. Alright, let's get some food cooking here. Starting to get hungry. I'm set my grill up right over these coals right here. So we got the Bitty Big Q grill. First time I've used it in a while actually.
Guarantee you now, as soon as I get these moose burgers out, uh, Millie's gonna wake up and come out of the tent. <laughs> she already got her head up back there. Here she comes. What are you looking for? Did you just eat your supper. Whew, this fire is throwing off a ton of heat here now. We gotta try not to burn these up. So like I said earlier, uh, it was calm for periods of rain this evening. So I don't know if we're gonna get it or not. It's actually, uh, it's not really raining now. It's just like a heavy drizzle. So I'm hoping we don't get that heavy rain that it's calling for, but if we do, hopefully I'll have the cooking done and I can just kind of hang out under the awning of the tent, or under the tarp here. I got quite a bit of firewood cut now. I, I went up and uh, I hauled back three or four more uh, dead standing trees, so I just got them thrown off to the side now. I can uh, I can cut those up later as I need them. Can't have moose burgers with cheese slices. And got some fried onions here. Just to top them off. Man, that fire is hot. My leg's burning. Put that on there. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Last one in the fire. But it's all good. These bones are going to toast in a bit. 10 seconds on this fire right now. Ketchup. Mustard. I'm gonna take this grill right off the fire now because it's too hot on the hands. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I cannot wait to eat these. Oh yeah. Tough to beat a moose burger cooked on the fire. Oh, almost forgot something. I brought a beer this time. We gotta watch Millie here because she'll steal those burgers so fast. Don't touch. So yeah, I brought a beer. It's uh, trail time from Bay de Verde Brewery. Bay de Verde Brewing Company. This is gonna go good with these burgers. Millie, really back up. Oh, cheers, guys.
I kind of got out of the habit of uh, bringing beer out on camping trips with me, but when I was packing up this morning, I saw a can of beer in the fridge and I was thinking it would really go good with a couple of moose burgers. And I was right. So, first time trying this beer. I don't know if I've ever had any beer from uh, from this Bay de Ver Brewing Company, but this one's pretty good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna eat the rest of these burgers and uh, we'll check back here in a bit. blowing a gale out here so pretty well dark now it's about eight o'clock I think yeah the wind is really whipping up so it seems like the uh, the rain is probably passed for the night so that's good but uh, I don't expect the wind to drop out it's not it wasn't supposed to from the forecast that I saw but anyways hopefully the rain is over with yeah I'm just going to uh, sit by the fire here enjoy uh, Enjoy the fire for another hour or two. I'm gonna pack the camera away for the night now because uh, it's kind of hard filming in the dark. Not much to see anyways, only the fire. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna sit out here for another little bit and then uh, call it a night, climb in the tent and... Uh, wow, Millie. Millie is... Uh, she don't like going close to the fire for some reason. I don't know if the smoke maybe got in her eyes or something earlier. But uh, she's trying to avoid the fire here at all costs. Anyways, she's been uh, she's been just kind of napping in the tent for most of the evening. Deuce is still out going around here, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for tonight, guys. Thanks a lot for following along, and uh, check back in the morning. morning so it's just coming on daylight out there now and uh, just let the dogs out so I got out and opened up the awning on the tent tied it back up so I can enjoy the view yeah it was a pretty good night uh, there's a little bit of a light uh, freezing drizzle seems like falling out there now and uh, pretty much all night off and on we had some freezing rain showers or snow showers or something kind of sound like freezing rain or ice pellets uh hitting the canopy of the tent all night off and on but nothing too serious the wind dro uh, dropped out a little bit still gusting a little bit out there now but not too bad so yeah i was trying to get the nerve to uh get up and uh get out of the sleeping bag now get dressed and get that fire going again so it was a pretty good night <clears throat> we had a lot of condensation on the inside of the tent Let's see if i can show you guys uh, yeah you can see here some of this water is on the outside but uh, there's quite a bit of condensation on the inside of the tent it's uh, soaked really on the inside so I don't remember having that problem the last time I had this tent out, but I don't know, maybe the, uh, the wet weather, uh, plus having two of the dogs and myself in here, 
Uh, the tent, this tent doesn't vent quite as well as my other tent. That's another reason I, I prefer my, uh, my purple tent, the freestanding tent over this one. Uh, the other one it vents a lot better. It's mostly off screen and then it has the rain fly over the outside of the poles. So it allows a lot more air circulation. So I don't really have much of a condensation problem with that one. But yeah, this one uh, tends to form a bit of condensation on the inside. So some of my gear got a little bit damp from that. But not too bad overall. Anyways, I gotta get up now and uh, get that fire going again. Goose, stop stealing the firewood, bud. Stop stealing the firewood. Get back here. <laughs> I made some kindling last night for this morning's fire, and uh, the dog's got half of it carried off through the woods now before I even had a chance to get out of the sleeping bag. So, I'm just gonna enjoy a couple of quick cups of coffee here this morning, then I gotta pack everything up and head out. So just another quick trip here this time. So, I'm hoping to get out for some longer trips here. I've been trying to get out for like a, a few nights at a time, but this winter just haven't really worked out. I usually get a couple of longer trips out in my canvas tent every winter, but this year, like I said, between uh, the weather and work and everything else I just really haven't been able to get out for a for a longer trip but anyways I do have a couple of, of longer trips in mind especially now that uh, spring is coming hopefully we'll get some nice mild weather soon and just take the rest of the snow and stuff because it's kind of at the point now where it's in between seasons and it's not really good for doing any winter activities but there's still too much snow to, uh, to really do any any hiking or anything like that too so the ponds and stuff are starting to deteriorate quickly. The, the snow is just about gone. There's a ton of slob out on the ponds and stuff, so it's not really, not really great conditions now for anything. So hopefully, uh, hopefully all this snow will melt here soon and uh, be able to get out and do some spring camping and some hiking and get the canoe out. Hopefully in the next month or so, do some canoe trips and stuff. We're definitely looking forward to that. So I got some new gear on the way. Uh, I'm gonna be testing out some new gear that was sent to me. I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway. So I said I was gonna do a giveaway when I hit 3,000 subscribers and uh, I didn't really get a chance to do it yet, but I am gonna be doing a giveaway coming up. I had some, uh, some fishing gear sent to me that uh, was meant to be part of a giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving, giving that away. And I'm also gonna throw some, some of my own gear in with it to. Uh, to make it a pretty good little giveaway contest so keep an eye out for that one but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it guys i'm just gonna like i said enjoy my coffee and then pack up and uh, head her back to the road so hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to uh, like comment subscribe all that stuff helps out the channel so hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you soon